Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing a watch that's larger than life in every sense. This is the Breguet Classique La Musicale. This is a 49mm reference 7800, yellow gold, a music box for your wrist, and an automatic winding alarm. You can see and you can purchase this watch on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see the spectacular music box alarm and own it on our website with additional accessories included, high resolution images, and naturally complete pricing for this extraordinary and rare modern Breguet. The watch you see first debuted at Basel World 2010, a spectacular combination of an alarm watch and quite literally a music box. It's a purposefully huge watch. It's not big for the sake of grabbing glances, envy, showcasing, showboating. This is a watch that's designed not to look spectacular, but to sound it. Let's first hear, because I know you're dying, and I normally talk about fit, but you have to hear this thing to understand it. And that's what you just heard from Rossini, The Thieving Mad Pie. Now, you can get The Thieving Magpie, or there's also a composition by Johann Sebastian Bach, not available in this particular example from our website. However, rest assured, equally sonorous in both versions. This particular version, perhaps a little bit more lively as it sounds off. Now, the timepiece is spectacular. It's not just designed to sound spectacular, but to look and to feel that way. 49 millimeters across the round of the case, though advertised as a 48, take my word, I've measured it in person, it's a 49. And from lug to lug, it's a big watch. 59 millimeters from lug to lug. The wrist stance is immense. While I could wear this watch securely, you will note immense lug overlap. So this watch is going to look a little bit awkward, in my opinion, on a wrist below 17 centimeters in circumference. I really feel you need that 17 centimeter wrist to begin to make this watch look natural on your arm. On the other hand, if you just want a showboat, yes, the watch can do that. Not designed for that, but it can do that. And all in yellow gold, with beautiful musical bars and notes engraved on the case flank. This watch is eye-catching, distinctive, and eminently special from every single angle. It's not excessively thick. One might expect it to be close to 20 millimeters, or at least 17 or 18, but it's actually 16.7. With a dramatically domed bezel, it will slide underneath the suit jacket cuff, provided you have an arm of appropriate proportions to wear a suit jacket over this watch. I think if you have that 17 to 25 centimeter circumference wrist, your jacket cuff is gonna be big enough to wear over this watch and there won't be any complaints. That said, the timepiece is designed to be seen and heard, not to vanish underneath your attire. The strap is substantial. As you'd expect, Breguet takes no chances. It's fixed with screws, not spring bars, so it can't accidentally pull out. It's a massive component, very, very thick, substantial, confidence inspiring, and with a mammoth lug spacing of 24 millimeters. If you want to offer an aftermarket solution, you can do that too. Order ahead, 24 millimeters. That said, the standard strap is one of the most substantial and comfortable I've encountered. I wouldn't expect something this thick with an alligator leather upper to be as supple as it is, but Breguet clearly sweated the details here. Large rectangular scale alligator leather. You can see that it's dark brown, robustly bolstered, folded edge and a monotone stitch, calfskin on the underside. Even the clasp looks and feels special. And believe me, you will want a deployant clasp given the size, cost, and heft of this watch. But note that it's anything but a generic Breguet clasp. It has a florid filigree style Breguet corporate B logo, as well as a hobnail center on top of the buckle. And the body itself entirely of high polish, beautifully finished, no stamping marks, no machining marks, no milling marks. Special inside and out, just like the watch to which it's attached. Now the timepiece features a number of flourishes, some of which we've already seen. You can see the spectacular style 
of the lugs jutting straight out from the case band, a characteristic Breguet styling signature across their line of classique models, but it is the engraved case of this watch all the way around, musical notes, the form and convention of sheet music running circumferentially where you'd normally see the coined edges of a Breguet watch. Many controls to master, but they are surprisingly straightforward. This is not a complicated watch to use. We're going to get it in focus and we're going to talk about its functions. First things first, there is a little musical note by pressing the trigger at 8 o'clock you activate and deactivate the alarm, and it is an alarm watch first and foremost. Now, I need to emphasize that some of the functions of the watch, such as the alarm, are dependent on a secondary power reserve. Whether you issue the music on command by pressing the trigger at 10 o'clock, or you set the alarm to sound, you do need to make sure that you wind via this crown right here at 4 o'clock the power reserve which is depicted on the flank of the case adjacent to the edge of the Ray Hot at 3 o'clock. I would say it has enough power reserve to sound the alarm three times, certainly two, possibly three. Now you'll note when you sweep the alarm, when the alarm is armed and you sweep the alarm indicator with its clef counterweight past the current time, the watch will sound. So when setting the alarm, you might want to deactivate it first. And if you leave it in place, it will simply continue to sound until the power reserve at 3 o'clock is exhausted. Now rest assured, there is an all or nothing mechanism, much like a minute repeater, inside the watch that will prevent it from starting the musical sequence if it doesn't have enough power reserve to complete the sequence. Now the watch is controlled via the crown at 2 o'clock. It is wound via the crown at 2 o'clock, although it is also an automatic. And the crown at 4 o'clock sets the alarm and winds the alarm power reserve. Now the crown at 2 o'clock is a simple push down mechanism that's used for setting the watch and winding the watch. Features of the dial, and the dial is high in style. The outer dial is made of gold, silvered and cut on a rose lathe the traditional way, a Geosure activating a rose engine using traditional cams for programming and patterning creates the dimple style minute track as well as the flat and concentrically circular grained hour track. Inboard, the center dial is platinum plated and likewise cut on a rose lathe. You can see the distinction between the platinum plate of the center and the silvered treatment of the hour track. You'll also note that they're on a slightly different plane with the center dial below the hour track. How does it work? It's quite simple. Well, in concept, you have a number of reeds underneath the dial. You also have prongs or outcroppings, 15 of them, underneath the dial. And as it turns, it combs the reeds that create the note. The watch, like a minute repeater, has a governor, not inertial and not friction based, but a silent magnetic unit. That's possible because underneath the Helmholtz resonator that doubles as a hollow case back. There is a silicon escapement and a silicon hairspring. The caliber 0900 created expressly for this watch is automatic winding with an anti-magnetic silicon escapement and hairspring. Beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour and it has a superior 55 hour power reserve. It is a manufacturer movement created for Breguet used only in this reference and Properly speaking, it's a large movement designed to fit a large case as it has a diameter of almost 38 millimeters in its own right. This is a very impressive watch. 59 joules, 55 hour power reserve, music box, alarm, automatic winding, silicon escapement, hand engraved, rose lathe guilloche, precious metal dial. This is a watch that has it all. Miles of style a watch that sounds and sizzles even better than it looks, and it looks like a million bucks. Put it on your wrist on our website.